लेबर एंड इंडस्ट्रियल लॉ बाय एम जी लॉ सो द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट वी विल कवर इज ट्रेड यूनियन अंडर ट्रेड यूनियंस एक्ट नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑन पेज नंबर फोर लेट्स गो टू पेज नंबर फोर ट्रेड यूनियन सो वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ट्रेड यूनियन अकॉर्डिंग टू सेक्शन टू एच ऑफ ट्रेड यूनियन एक्ट नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सिक्स अ ट्रेड यूनियन इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन और एसोसिएशन फ्रॉम द वर्ड यूनियन इट सेल्फ यू विल गेट द मीनिंग कॉम्बिनेशन और एसोसिएशन ओके यूनियन मीन्स कॉम्बिनेशन और एसोसिएशन इट कैन बी टेम्पररी फॉर सम टाइम और इट कैन बी परमानेंट विद द पर्पज that means the purpose of trade union is to regulate relations between workmen and work employers workmen and workmen and employers and employers okay so the trade union regulates relations between the workers and the owners of the industry and workers and workers the between workers themselves and between employers themselves okay other purpose of trade union is to impose restrictive conditions on the conduct of any trade or business okay so these were the two purposes of trade union any federation of two or more trade unions will all be also be included within trade unions it means the federation will itself be called as a trade union so the definition says it's a combination or association which can be temporary or permanent with two purposes regulating relations and imposing restrictive conditions and the federation of two or more trade unions will also be called a trade union what are the qualifications to be the member or office bearer of a trade union the minimum age requirement to be a member of trade union is 15 years okay a person should be 15 years old or more to be a member of trade union to be a an office bearer or member of executive or of a trade union he should be at least 18 years old okay there are some more conditions to be office bearer of a trade union they are that the person should not be convicted by court for any any offense which involves moral turpitude it means then offense which is immoral in nature which violates certain standards of a society it hurts the sentiments of the society and he should not get imprisonment if these three conditions are also satisfied then he can be the office bearer or a member of a executive if he has been convicted for any offense involving moral turpitude and has been imprisoned then he cannot be a office bearer unless 5 years have elapsed since his release okay after his release from imprisonment there should be at least a gap of 5 years so these were the qualifications now a question comes can the outsider be an office bearer it means the persons who are not related to the industry to which the trade union is connected the answer is yes up to 50% of the office bearers can be outsiders and the persons actually engaged and employed in industry to which union is connected they should not be less than 50% okay so this was the topic trade union if you are interested in the pdf of labor and industrial law then you can get this pdf from the description box or the comment box next topic we will cover is registration of trade unions in next video